Hi there, I'm John Chapin from Climate Works Heating and Cooling. Today we're going to talk about how a furnace actually works. There are two big parts of a furnace. First, the heat exchanger, and secondly, the blower fan motor. The heat exchanger is actually located right about right here inside the furnace. This actual furnace that we're looking at is in, indeed actually backwards from how we're looking at it. The front is over there, but nevertheless, everything remains constant. Seated right in here is about where the heat exchanger is, and down near the bottom of the furnace is where the blower fan motor is. What actually happens then when the furnace comes on is the furnace vacuums air in or draws air in through the return airs or some of us call them cold air returns. That air is vacuumed down into the furnace, it's drawn through, runs through an air filter, the blower fan motor at the bottom of that furnace pushes air up and it passes by a heat exchanger. The heat exchanger is in fact actually a great big metal chamber that holds the fire. Whether you are dealing with a natural gas furnace, an oil furnace, uh, whatever fuel, propane, as that cooler air passes by that warm or hot metal chamber, the air moves up, or the, the air warms up. So what actually happens then is that that cool air passes by that, that hot, hot steel, it warms up the air, and then hot air is distributed or networked through our house. So the second big factor within a furnace, of course, is the blower fan motor. The blower fan motor in the furnace is located down near the bottom of the furnace. And again, regardless of what fuel it is, whether it's uh, electricity, even electricity, electric furnaces still have the blower fan motor sitting at the bottom of the furnace. The blower fan motor is what it drives the entire convection of air in the house. If you think about all the air that's coming out of those supply registers in your bedroom or in your living room and all the air that's being drawn in the return airs, whether they're big grates on the wall or in the floor, all of that air is being driven by this blower fan motor in that furnace. So not only is a blower fan motor important when it comes to heating the house and distributing heat through those heat registers throughout your house, it's also very important in cooling your house. If your house has a central air conditioner, uh, there will be a uh, what's called a coil sitting right here above the, above the furnace. And when we're cooling our house, a blower fan motor is responsible for driving warm, humid air past the coil so that that coil can remove the heat from the air. When that heat is removed from the air, naturally the temperature of the air drops. And so when that happens, the humidity or the vapor that was in that air is going to fall out of the air as well. So what we in fact do then is we distribute nice, cool, nice, dry air through our house. And if our blower fan motor is a good, powerful motor, it's going to deliver the proper temperatures to our house. Whether we're heating or whether we're cooling, a blower fan motor is definitely an important part of a furnace. So when you're installing a new furnace, or, or rather when you're choosing your new furnace, there's a couple of factors that are going to come up when you're, when you're looking at things. One of course is going to be uh, the blower fan motor. You've got a couple of different choices in blower fan motors. We'll get into that in another video. The, uh, the second thing is the heat exchanger. Heat exchangers, of course, are a big part of that furnace, and you want to make sure that you have a good heat exchanger with a good warranty on it. So when you're ready to install your next furnace, give us a call. Let us come and give you a free, no-obligation quote.